Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Order and Chaos playthrough. This is part 12 in this episode. We have a new team again. <laughs> it's crazy the amount of times we've had to go through like mini team previews, but we have quite an interesting team. First of all, the most interesting thing is we had one Pokemon evolve that was the Sturdle. Sturdle evolved into Girdle. I know, what a name change. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. It's become a Squirtle that went off to war. Um, kept his war trophies, uh, attached a lot of metal to himself to augment his abilities, and generally got stronger. So, 115 HP, it's pretty good. 82 on the defense, 72 on the special defense. Overall, mildly tanky. I assume this thing evolves again. I hope it does anyway. We also have huge power with 73 attack. That, that's incredibly respectable. Um, I'm, I'm honestly very happy with that. That's a lot of damage. That's a hell of a lot of damage popping out. That's 146 attack, basically. That's really good. So the nature works out well. We do have a couple of new moves with Ancient Power, Screech, Metal Claw, and Slam. Pretty sure we had Tail Whip, Water Spall, and some other move instead of Metal Claw. Uh, I can't remember what it was exactly, but we have a slight upgrade in moves. Obviously Metal Claw is not the strongest move in, in the world, but you know what? It'll do. It'll do. Aside from that, Garglide, no changes. Cerebralus, no changes. Megalodef, no changes. Keratops joined us. Um, rock ground type. I did get these both to level 39 because I assumed they'd evolve at 40. Most fossils evolve at 40. So I hope it does. With 81 attack with huge power, still to evolve. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. So I'm happy about that. With protect, bite, submission, and mud shot. So overall, it moves. Could definitely be better. It could land a rock type move, for example. But it's kind of nice. And boss also went up one level, I think. Just for comparison's sake, though. Boss, 112 HP, 111 attack, 55 defense, 48 special defense, and 79 speed. We go all the way to Girdle, more HP, more attack, more defense, more special attack, more special defense, slightly lower speed. Can still evolve. With an amazing ability. I mean, the ability is why its attack is higher, but... I'm happy with it. I'm happy with having Girdle and Keratops on our team. At the moment, I'm really not too impressed with like Garglide and Boss anymore. I think we've found much better Pokemon. So, those out of the way though, we are gonna put, um, who wants to go in front? Who wants to go in front? Megalodef? Megalodef should go in front. Yeah, you have Surf. In fact, you have Surf. We're probably gonna be fighting war types. We can hit them with Psychic, to be honest. It'll work. It'll work. So I'm assuming we want to Surf over this way. Uh, I don't want to have a quick look and see if we have any, like, hidden items up here. We have we have a direction we can head up here. We can't go in there. Right, so I can't... What is this? What is this? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't... Guys, don't do this. Guys, you know what? It's fine. We don't do that again. Um, we put Cerebralus back in front. It's like we're just restarting the episode, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. What? No. No, we aren't. Right, we aren't playing that game. Don't go up there. Uh, that's a glitch in the game. Um, the war is dyed a deep blue. Would you like to surf? Yes, we would. First letter always cut off as always. That's a pretty bad glitch. Um, that, that's something that needs to be worked on a little bit. Uh, but we'll put that, we'll put that behind us. It's okay. We'll just continue. We can Psychic you. we can level up, that's good. Can we learn a new move? We're, we're, we're evolving. I wasn't expecting this. I thought it was gonna be like a Dabra, so I didn't think it was gonna evolve. I thought it was, this was gonna be the final. Is it evolving into Mega Mewtwo? What? Yes. 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 Do it. Give it. Alakazam? Mega Mewtwo? That's literally a Mega Mewtwo. You gave me a Mega Mewtwo Y. <laughs> um, okay then. How strong is Mega Mewtwo Y in this game? Uh, Timid Nature, really good. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we'll keep you in front. Yeah, we'll use the Mega Mewtwo. Why not? Uh, that is, that is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. We have a water stone. While I do not think in the slightest that anything we have evolves by water stone, 
I'll check, just in case, you know, Girdle evolves into a water tile, like I expected all along. Um, we also have a Leaf Stone. Yeah, okay, fine. Nothing evolves by stone. It Infinite money. Stones sell for so much money. This is actually ridiculous, but okay. Um, that's an infinite money glitch right there. Uh, that that needs to be uh, slightly checked out. That's a very good uh, infinite money glitch. So if you see me with a lot of money at some point, didn't realize I was playing Pokemon Uranium before it just appeared, but um, if you ever need infinite money at some point, there you go. Two glitches at the start of this episode. Things are going well. Why is there a nuclear Pokemon looking at me? What are you? That was super effective. Are you a clown type? Are you a poison type? You have Oxen in your name. I'm assuming that stands for Toxin. Hazard, Toxin. You're probably a poison type. That would make more sense than a clown. I, I don't know why I said clown. I, I just remembered a type matchup and was like, yep, must be that. Trojet, you're not scary. Arbidibidib did that one, the poison starfish. You're not scary. None of these Pokemon are scary as such. We'll put Keratops in front. We may be doing a little bit of switch training here. But honestly, if we get to see Keratops evolve, I'll be very happy. So how do we get through here? How do we get through this area just to our right? Please let me run. Okay, good. Um, how do we get through this area? Because I want to make sure I don't mess this up. Um, pretty simply, we surf to the right, and then we get knocked down here. Okay. Nice and easy, nice and easy. So we have to get through... Freaking water puzzles, man. Freaking water puzzles. First invisible walls, now water puzzles. What is this? I actually have to, like, slightly look at where I'm going, because I really don't want to mess this up too badly. I guarantee you I will mess this up. Don't get me wrong. I'll mess this up. Don't you worry. It's gonna happen. But not- not just yet. Not just yet. Soon, but not just yet. It's so hard to even make out where the different, like, tile in Amongst Mall is. Screech. No, no, no. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that's that's kind of saddening. Um, yeah, can't say I'm happy about that. It's going this side. It's not going to do anything, is it? Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Just thought I'd check. Um, what happens if I just go to the right? That that helps. What about here? Let's trial and error this a little bit. Let's trial and error. It takes us back to the same point. Okay. Therefore, the different spot has to be this one. That wasn't where I wanted to go. I want to go to this spot that's going upwards. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, bit by bit. And then we can go here. All right, progress. Always go for progress. Okay, this is good. This is good. This commentary, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, I think. Okay, who agrees? No one didn't think so. <laughs> okay, so aside from that, Let's jump into the question of the day while I aimlessly run about in this puzzle quiz, which is going to be something loosely related to Pokemon, but not directly related to Pokemon. And that's going to be, do you have any pets? Because I have a, a lot of a lot of pets. A lot, a lot of pets. A lot of pets. Not all directly like my pets. I don't take care of all of them directly myself, but in, in my house, a lot, lot of pets. A lot of pets. Well, across my two houses, I should say. Um, have like a lot of cats. Five, five cats to pick them up to now. Five cats, two dogs, rabbits, birds, send help, L lots of pets. Um, God, I don't even want to know if I want to get into this and try and like name them all. I don't think, I don't think I want to do that. That'd take too much time. That's too much effort for me. I can't do that. But a lot of pets. So I'm interested to see uh, how many people, like the ratio of cats to dogs. Because those are the two most common household pets. You get some people that like get hermit crabs and stuff like that. You? You're the 1%? I love you people. You're brilliant. But, oh, I can just walk through that? That's kind of cool. <laughs> I got very confused for a second there. But a lot of people generally have cats and dogs, so I'm just more interested in seeing um, how many people have cats, how many people have dogs, to be honest. Oh. Oh, hello. And now we have a new Pokemon. Right, perfect. Um, Cross Castle. So this is the Sandropod thing of evolved. I don't know. I'm assuming, I think it only evolved once. I don't really remember. You just tried to guillotine me, can you not? And then you're gonna come in with this weakness? Th Magic up, really? Really? All right, there's a huge cavern underneath something. <laughs> I read that well, <laughs> god damn. Uh, we have to be nearing 
the end of this war puzzle, right? Right, Terra Nova? Right, we must be nearing the end of it soon. My right, Crunch did like two damage, but we can get special defense drops. We do get some special defense drops. There we go, nice and easy. Another Baskalord. Uh, we can pretty easily go into boss. As we know, this thing isn't a flying type. That did a ridiculous amount of damage. Boss is just reliable. Fighting types are just reliable sometimes. Why are you riding a Pokemon? Can you not swim? Guys, they're onto me. Guys, they know. They know I can't swim. Guys, what do I do? Supernova? Supernova. I feel like I'm playing Smite against a soul right now. That joke probably won't make any sense to a lot of you, but if you've ever played the game Smite, Supernova is basically the ultimate ability of, of Fire Chick Alpha. God damn. That, that name. That name. Never mind. Never mind. We're, we're going off topic. We're going very off topic. Let's just take out the Baskalord and continue. <laughs> Let's just continue. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I wish I still had Keratops alive right now. Because I would love to give Keratops a little bit of XP. Tanga West Mandota River. I like the fact that there is a tiny little border by like that little grass ridge. I like that. So, can we walk past you? We can. I want to walk past as many people as possible. Not because I don't think I can fight them. Purely because I want to give all of the XP to Keratops. So let's... Don't you dare force me to use Cart. Don't you dare. Not now. Where? How far are you going to make me go? God damn it. Pam Bazooka. Pam... Bazooka! That's my kind of name on a Pokemon. I like that name. We aren't hitting ourselves. We aren't hitting ourselves. I wanted to believe. I really wanted to believe. I tried. I just want to make it to the next Pokemon Center so I can trade Keratops. I feel like I'm running a really long way away from um, anything. Away from it. What the hell is that? It's creepy. No, it's creepy. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that was, but it was creepy. Um... <gasps> I kind of like it. It reminds me of, um... Oh, why can't I remember? The... Uh, Pancham. It reminds me of Pancham a lot. It's probably a fight type. It looks like a Pancham to me. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, we can fight you easily. You're a poison type. What are you even gonna hit me with? Nothing. That's right. Haha. -ha. Girdle. Girdle wins. Isn't Girdle a name for some kind of, um... No, no, I don't know. I'm, I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting what a Girdle even is. I don't remember. My memory today. It's so bad. Everything is so bad. Oh dear. But we have made it to the next city. So that is something very, very nice. Now, can we find ourselves one Pokemon Center, please? Just one? Just one? I don't need two. Can I get past you without anything weird happening? Apparently so. There's a Pokemon all the way over here. Alright, this is really creeping me out. Why is the Pokemon so away from everything? Why was, the, why was the Pokemon employee shunned into the corner? What happened? What did they do? Wait, what more terraces? Wait, there's another Mart? And not a Pokemon Center. Oh, there's the Pokemon Center. Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to find a Pokemon Center. God damn. Okay, we can go back and fight everything now, to be honest. Don't even know if we want to. I want to catch this first. So we'll much like you, we just got dropped. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. I'm like, yeah, I want to catch you. Murders me. It is called the Walking Tropical Rainforest. Each of the nuts has a... F okay. Okay, Executor. All right. Um, <laughs> bit weird. Some of the Pokemon that have been changed, like some of them have been directly changed, kept the type the same, that kind of stuff. I can kind of understand why they'd want to do that. But Executor? This? Alright. Um, you're a fighting type, right? Okay, fighting type. Impish nature. The Executor cry does not fit very well. Huge power. You know what? Let's just make a game and give everything huge power. That sounds great. What could go wrong with that? Let's just give everything huge power. Nothing can go wrong with that. It is fine. It is fine. That's balance. That's, that's game balance. I need to shuffle my webcam down slightly again. My webcam's been having a lot of problems lately, and I'm not really sure why. It just feels like it's constantly, like, bouncing up and down. I wish I was kidding. 
Uh, but either way, Impish Nature, we're not using our special attack, that's for certain. Protect, Double Kick, Karate Chop, and Dynamic Punch. That's a fun move. That's a fun move. I don't hate it, because that has huge power. But at the moment, I think we're going to keep Boss purely because Boss is leveled up. Honestly, though, in terms of, like, stats and ability and that, that thing's probably better than Boss. That's really weird to think about. Uh, we have the free Fisherman over here. Rod. Okay. Rod. Uh-huh. Rod. Okay, at least they don't all just say Rod. I thought they were all just going to say Rod. I'm not going to lie. I really was expecting that for a moment. Baskalord, we stay in. And then we swap. Nice and simply. We don't need to do anything crazy. We just need to swap into our starter that's a lot more reliable now. And then Keratops can come back out to take out the Magikarps. <laughs> this is such a bad... It's such a terrible job. My, my Triceratops is here to take out Magikarps. That's just depressing. You can fight. Yeah. Pyramp? No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Special attack rows. Flatter is a move that isn't used enough, you know? We hit ourselves every single time, by the way. Wow. And then we miss. Special attack rows. That's good this time. But we miss. And then we hit ourselves. And then we hit ourselves. And then we finally murder it. Okay. Sped it up, because double team is not fun. Double team is a horrible, horrible move that really does get annoying. Evasion is just... Mm, it's the one thing I really don't like. Any other setup, I can, I'm can, i fine with. You can boost anything else, but evasion, it's just... Wait, what? What am I trading? I'm looking for the Pokemon Girdle. Well, that's convenient. Want to trade one for my Circlown? No. Who in their right mind would do that trade? As you have a spare. In which case, maybe. Maybe. Even then, maybe. I, I still wouldn't want to do a guarantee. Girdle's really good. Circlown, you get on the first town area. Like, no. Uh, let's speak to you quickly. It's hard for people to tell, but this is a different town than Watmill. Okay. What's that even mean? They're, they're, this is all the same to me. The Ecos must be trying to dig their way into no good. Uh, the Ecos? Those guys? They're done. Those miserable Ecos, look what they've done to my house. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. I was going to use it on a Deco or a Gal Snake. That cost me a bundle, it did. You know, Keratops wouldn't actually mind having dig, I'm going to be perfectly honest. That would not be the worst thing in the world. Um, if you want to point me towards that uh, that TM, I'd, be, I'd appreciate it. I used to work for the Ecos, but they left me. Just like my wife. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. Old people are depressing. Okay. My brother is special. Yay! I'm in my house. All right then. All right then. I need more furniture. Yeah? This town's weird. <laughs> this town's kinda weird. Tanga is the richest village. It is? Then why can't that guy afford furniture? What the hell? Oh, my life is so old. Okay. Okay. No one is particularly happy in this area. I, I, I don't want to be here. God damn. This place is incredibly depressing. That thing is really creepy. Are you poison? What type are you? You're weak to fighting. It's here. That can wait. Everything about that Pokemon can wait. Right now, I just want to see a giant treasure set tops on my screen. What the hell is it evolving into? That shape looks really weird to me. That doesn't even look like a Triceratops. What are you evolving into? Oh, uh, okay. I guess I see it now. I, I don't hate it. I like it. I like it. Have a saw. Okay, sure. I like it. It's trying to learn up. Yes. Oh boy, we just got we just got such a powerful Pokemon added onto our team. Oh, oh boy, we just got such a Pokemon added onto our team. Oh my. Oh my. That's... Whew. Whew. My Triceratops just like an earthquake. I'm, I'm having a moment here. I'm having a moment. I'm very happy right now. Please, just show me a high attack stat. That's ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. That's so ridiculous. Over 100 attack with huge power. Holy. That 
is a strong Pokemon. Ground being as great of a type as it is, um, this game didn't add anything that affects ground being super effective on anything. Therefore, this Pokemon is absolutely amazing. Like, I can just Earthquake and you, you just drop magically. You are likely part Grass type. Yeah. Yeah, part Grass type would make a little bit of sense. And then you're also weak to fighting. You, like, what? Like, normal? Are you a grass normal type? You know, I'm catching it. I, I don't know what type this is. That's Pursuit. Grass Dark? Are you Grass Dark? Maybe? I don't know what type that is. But either way, I have a dinosaur. I'm very happy. I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased with this dinosaur that we have. I'm... Normally, a lot of fossil Pokemon have, like, some strong points, but none of them are particularly great. I'm probably forgetting a really good fossil Pokemon now that I think about it. I mean, Aerodactyl's pretty good. Um, Omastar is okay. Kabutops, I like it. It's okay. Uh, going through fossils in my head. Armaldo and Leap are pretty bad. It is Grass Dark. Okay. Okay. Um, at least I know it's typing now, so I can fight it a little bit easier. I have a Fossils. Rampardos has a really high attack stat, but nothing else really going for it. Bastiodon is is good and all, but... I mean, it has high defenses, but other than that, it's really not that great. It's kind of a one-trick pony, and its typing's pretty bad. Rock Steel sets four times weaknesses. Uh, what other Fossils are there? Aurorus is brilliant. Aurorus is the best. Um, Aurorus' Cry single-handedly makes it one of the best Pokemon ever. What else is there? What else is there? Tyrantrum has too many weaknesses. I feel like just rock types in general just have too many weaknesses. Maybe. That might be a large part of it. Aerodactyl's probably the best fossil. Probably. I don't I don't like saying that though. I don't. I want Kabutops to be the best. It's just my personal favorite. <gasps> That's what Jackalar evolves into, and now I want it again. I don't know why, I just kinda like the Anubis beam. I really do. Kind of reminds me of Lucario as well. Kind of wrecks me as well. Great. That kind of sucks. Um, so you're a dark ground type? I don't know why, but I've always I've always liked Lucario purely because it's movie. No other reason, just it's movie. It's movie really got to me as a kid. It's movie was great. Damn. I like seeing a similar Pokemon. I really do. Oh boy, which one do we want to take out first? Probably the Baskalord, right? Probably the Baskalord. So we want to slam the Baskalord? Let's just attack the Baskalord. Alright, that that didn't go well. Let's just heal a little bit. This fight may be a little bit tougher than I originally intended it to be. You have Surf. That's kind of annoying. I believe. I don't believe. I don't believe. Surf. And slam. Sure, surf. Surf him. We aren't living anyway. Girdle goes down. Surf hits both. This seems like a good plan. Maybe I should have taken out the other one first. Let's go into boss, because I want to keep thingy around to psychic the cross castle if I need it to. Oh god, this fight got tougher than I thought. Fast Lord, can you just drop? He didn't even slightly drop. Wait. Oh. Why'd I go for Why would I go for surf? Against two war types? Like, oh boy. <laughs> yes, surf the two war types. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, I'm going to do it again. Do I mark punch the Baskalord? Yeah. Yeah, withdrew Baskalord? You have six Pokemon? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh, no, 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 no. It's it's a no from me. Um I'm really nervous actually. I'm I'm thinking way too hard so I'm not saying anything. God damn it. 
but why does he have so many fully evolved above like level 40 Pokemon? He has six. Six. Six fully evolved Pokemon. Like, we just went for some scrubs. What is this? This is the perfect time to surf, and he roared me out. That's really annoying. But at the same time, it's okay, because we can Psychic you and we can Mark Punch the other guy. So, both of these Pokemon should go down, and that turns it into a 3v3, which is a lot better in our scenario, in, a, in our case, because we had a lot of Pokemon that were already pretty injured, so... And I'd say we have our strongest Pokemon left. Actually, you know what? I don't know about that. The... the, the I mean... Mm, I, I guess. I guess we do. What the hell is that? It's terrifying. It's big. It looks fully evolved. Oh no. <laughs> it, it's big. It looks fully evolved. Oh no. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Boss gains a little bit of attack and all that good stuff. We have Gylamander come in. Okay. Well, we psychic the Gylamander. And we heal. Takedown misses. Good. Gylamander Mega Punches. That is actually going to do a fair amount of damage because Mega Punches has a high base power. Psychic from Mega Mewtwo should do a good amount. It's the most underwhelming Mega Mewtwo in the world. It really is. This Mega Mewtwo, I swear. Um, we are going to try and Super Potion again because I don't want to get hit by a flying type move on boss. Th this is like a gym battle in and of itself. God damn. This battle is insane. But it's really good for XP, so I mean, mm, I guess it's worth it. Um, we take out we take out the Gylamander, that's good. And we have a Glassimian. Ice fighting? Ice fighting is a typing I like. I hope it's ice fighting. I'm just gonna pile attacks into it. Double team. You double team. You set up. I don't care. We'll break for you eventually, I believe. I, I believe, I swear. Are you fighting? Is this super effective? That's neutral. You're definitely ice because you have Glacier in your name. So it's just a, it's, it's probably, it might just be an ice type then. It's just an ice monkey. Okay, fine. Ice monkey down, either way. That's good. And now we have two Pokemon against one. I'm actually gonna, yeah, I'm gonna body slam you. It makes more sense. I mean, I don't know if it's a normal type or not. I don't know it's secondary typing. I think we picked up one of these birds, and it was um, normal flying, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, maybe I should go for rolling kick just for damage. Ah, uh, fine. Okay. Okay, we should be fine. And we're good. And we defeated the super nerd. Now let's run away, in fear of everything, because that battle was so goddamn intense. What the hell was that battle? Please don't wreck me, little weird grass dark thing. It looks really weird. It's a really weird Pokemon. We do have a gym down here, though. You know what? That was the gym battle for this episode. I'm going to be perfectly honest. That, that battle was insane. We're going to have a quick look and see if there was any other trainers that I skipped past. I'm reasonably certain there was at least um, a double battle that we went past. I keep going the wrong way there. So, we'll quickly go and do that. God damn, that battle was something. Oh, yeah, we have loads more trainers over here. Okay, we're good. Um, have a saw, destroy everything. I just want to use this dinosaur as much as I possibly can because I'm kind of enjoying having a Triceratops. I'm kind of enjoying this. Yeah. Yeah, huge power is pretty dumb. Yeah. Yeah, you, you see what just kind of happened there whenever I clicked Earthquake, everything died? Yeah, that that's what I want. See, that's nice. That's a really nice thing sometimes. You know, you just go Earthquake, boom. And then you just sort of watch everything die. Earthquaked, earthquaked. It just, it makes you feel like you're succeeding. It's really nice. Sometimes you really want to get those nice close battles and you feel really rewarded afterwards. Sometimes you just want to stomp people with huge power because it's dumb. I'm in that kind of mood right now. It's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. 106 attack, huge power. My lord, that's dumb. That's so dumb. We can even level it up once more. Sure, you know what? Let's, let's just do it. Level me up. 100. <laughs> Stop giving me plus freeze and attack. Stop it. It's like a plus six. It's genuinely like getting a plus six in your attack. Just from a level up. That's so dumb. Oh, I want to EV train it and get an adamant one. And oh, that the power. Mega Mawile. 
Oh, that's what it reminds me of. That's so dumb. Well, let's have a quick check of these houses before we do anything else. Oh, they're empty. Alright. I... Okay. I'm looking for the Pokemon Girdle. Oh, we already came in here. Wow, my memory's really terrible today, isn't it? God damn. Can I, like, stick my nose in here? I don't want to stick my nose in here. I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. I don't want to stick my nose in there just yet. No? Nothing? Nothing from you? Just a nice clicking sound. Okay. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode and all of its beautiful dinosaur-filled glory, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above further ado, bye!